Right. Up till now, we have talked about evolution, and we know that evolution is the change in the characteristics of a species due to changes in their allele frequencies. And what causes the change in allele frequency? It was due to cases such as natural selection. We've talked about that. Artificial selection. We've also talked about that. And we've also covered mutation as well. Uh, the fourth way in which evolution can also happen, leading to a change in allele frequency, is a concept known as the genetic drift. Now, this concept is quite a... Uh, I mean, it can be a little bit complicated depending on how you look at it, but let's try to uncomplicate this. So, before we explain genetic drift, I want to give you a situation. Okay, please do not memorize this situation over here. This is just my way of explaining things. Now, you have an organism here, and this organism has uh, a it's a diplot organism with a pair of homologous chromosomes, and they have a gene for body color, and the gene for body color has three alleles. Again, my example, F large A, F large B, and small f, where F large A makes the organism red in color, F large B makes the organism blue in color, and small f will make the organism black. FA and FB are co-dominant, which means to say they can both be expressed together if present, and small f is recessive, which means to say if the organism has a genotype of FAFA or FA small f, the organism will be red in color, obviously, red in color. FBFB or FB small f, it will be blue in color. And if the organism is FAFBR, in this case, because it's codominant, both the FA allele and FB allele are expressed together, making the organism become a purple color. And if it's small f, small f, because it's homozygous recessive, the organism will be black. There we go. So you have four possible phenotypes over here. This is just my example, by the way. Now, <laughs> You have an island, and this species, they're all the same species, by the way, they're all living on the island, and I know it's a bit small, but I just want you to see that on the island, there are those black organisms represented by the black dots. You have the red organisms, purple ones, and also blue ones. If you're colorblind, don't worry about it. The point I'm just trying to make is, on this island, all four phenotypes are present, red, blue, purple, and black. But on this smaller island nearby, the they are the same species over there, but on that smaller island, only the black ones exist, which have the genotype of small f, small f. All right, so this is my situation. This is just the way I'm explaining something. Now, before we explain genetic drift further, I also want to introduce another concept known as gene pool. Gene pool is just basically, it's not an actual pool, all right, but it's just a sum of all the genes and its alleles in one population. Please be aware of the definition of gene pool. You might need to know this for the exam. For both islands, whether it's the larger island or the smaller island, both islands have just one gene. For example, gene for body color, because that's the example I'm talking about. And for the larger island, what alleles are present? They have the large FA allele, they have the FB allele, and they have the small f allele present in that island. But for the smaller island, only small f alleles are present. So what we can say here is, the larger island has a larger gene pool because it has more alleles in that population. But on the smaller island, it has a smaller gene pool. It's not due to the size of the island itself, but it's due to the presence of the different types of alleles because the larger island has those three alleles but the small island only has one allele which is the small f allele so that's why we say that the larger island has a larger gene pool or larger variety you can think about it as variety as well and the smaller gene pool has a uh, smaller variety so to speak smaller genetic variation in that case now one very important question I want to ask my students here is as follows. Why is it on the larger island, it has different varieties of uh, organisms color, red, blue, purple, and black, but on the small island, it only has the black ones. So some of my students will say that maybe on the smaller island, 
there is a selection pressure that favours the black organism. That means like maybe in the smaller island, they had an original population of colourful organisms, those four different colours. But there was a particular selection pressure that only allowed the black organisms to survive and reproduce, thus passing down only the black alleles to the next generation. Now, that might be a possible explanation. That might have happened, but there is also another possibility. And that possibility might have just been a random occurrence. Now, that possibility is known as genetic drift. Genetic drift, by definition, is a change in allele frequency that happens randomly or by chance, and it's not due to natural or artificial selection. That means it's not a predict genetic drift is not a predictable thing at all. Like you can look at natural selection and artificial selection and kind of guess that there is a selection pressure. There might be predators, uh, wind, or there might be temperature. There might be a factor in the environment that is affecting which organisms survive and reproduce. And in artificial selection or selective breeding, we know that humans were the selection pressure. We choose which organisms to survive and reproduce. But when it comes to genetic drift, neither one is the factor. Okay, it is just a random thing. I'll, I'll show you how it happens. Okay, now genetic drift can occur in one of two ways. There is a founder effect and also the bottleneck effect. And we are going to look at these two effects as well. So, under genetic drift, for the founder effect, a small population separates from the larger population, causing a change in allele frequencies. Now, without wasting time, I'm just going to show you this island where you have organisms with FA, FA, FB, FB, just going to draw out all their genotypes, okay, right here, and I'm also going to put their colors in. Now, it so happens that, yes, it's one entire island, but that island has an extension, like a peninsula. And it just so happened on that particular day, at that peninsula, or that extension over there, there were some black organisms that were there, small f, small f. Now, the allele frequency, don't memorize my example here, the allele frequency of fa is 31%, fb is 31%, small f is 38%. Now, what may happen here is, as you can see here, on that fateful day, an earthquake happened and that earthquake caused a separation between the larger island and the smaller island right like there okay and now those two land masses are separated by water right so the organisms on that smaller island small f small f have now been separated from the larger island so in this case, I'm just going to make the island just go, of, of course it doesn't just float away like that, but I'm just making it, uh, I'm just making the separation a bit more significant. Now, what happens to the allele frequency on that small island? And if they reproduce with each other over and over again, small f, small f reproduce with each other, all the organisms will just be small f, small f in that area. They'll all be black in color. Was it due to selection pressure? Was it due to natural selection that this happened, that all the organisms are black in color? No, it just so happened that during a separation, like an earthquake, randomly, by the way, there were only small f, small f organisms on that island. It was a random process. It occurred by chance. So all the organisms on that island are small f, small f in the future generation. So what's the allele frequency in the small island? We are not focused on the large island, by the way. We are focused on the small one. FA is 0%, FB is 0%, small f is 100%. Compare that large population in the original one when you compare them, what has actually happened, there is a change in allele frequency, but it's due to chance where a smaller population separated from a larger one. And we ignore the larger population, by the way, because in the larger population, there might be a change in the allele frequency, but the change is not so significant, okay? Because there was not a big change in their population. But in the smaller island, what has actually happened is the allele frequency has significantly changed and it so happened coincidentally, it made the gene pool smaller. In most cases of genetic drift, when a smaller population separates from a larger population, 
it will usually lead to a smaller gene pool, which can be quite dangerous because if these organisms have a smaller gene pool, where they're all almost exactly the same, genetic variation is lower, right? And remember, when genetic variation is lower, it can be risky because if anything happens in the environment, they might not be able to adapt as easily, okay, compared to a population that has more genetic variation. So that is why this, so some students will say, teacher, is this genetic drift or founder effect? Yes, this is genetic drift, by the way, because why? The allele frequency has changed randomly, but it's a type of genetic drift known as the founder effect. Why is it called the founder effect? Because the allele frequency changed randomly or by chance when the smaller population had separated from the larger population. And you must understand that in most cases of genetic drift, when the small population was separated from the larger population, the gene pool will also become lower, which means to say they have less variety. And that's not a good thing as well. Now, another example of genetic drift happening is known as the bottleneck effect. Now, by definition, a bottleneck effect is what happens when there is a drastic reduction in the population causing a change in the allele frequency. As an example, I'm again drawing out an island. You have organisms with different colors there. They are the same species. You have the red organism, black organism, purple and black, uh, uh, blue ones right there. And in the middle of the island, there is a volcano and it's an active volcano. So you know that this is not going to be good, obviously. The allele frequency again is FA 31%, FB 31%, small f 38%. Just my example, do not need to memorize that. What happens is one day the volcano erupted and lava just started spewing all over the island. Yes, this chapter is a little bit violent as well. What happens is because of that volcano eruption and the lava and the smoke and such, most of the organisms on that island died. And coincidentally, the only two that survived were black organisms, which were small f, small f, and small f, small f. So when they repopulate the island in the future, as the island calms down, what happens is the future generation will only have small f, small f, which is uh, allele frequency of small f at 100%. Okay, so it was a change in allele frequency due to chance, by the way, and the chance here was the volcano eruption. It's not that the volcano eruption chose the black ones to survive. That's not selection. It was just by a great immense luck that the black ones survive in this case. So it was a change in allele frequency due to chance where the population sharply decreased. Uh, they can sharply decrease not just due to volcano eruption. Sometimes it can be due to diseases, hunting. It can be due to, I don't know, a meteor, a natural disaster like a flooding. Anything could have caused a drastic, uh, a sharp decrease in the population. And that sharp decrease in the population will lead to a change in the allele frequency. And what has happened to the gene pool? The gene pool in this case has also lowered as well. In most cases, bottleneck effect will also lower the gene pool too. And this can be a problem. So in summary, genetic drift is what happens when there is a change in allele frequency due to chance. Let's say on this island, large A allele was 50% and small A allele was also 50%. But due to a separation from, of a smaller population from its larger counterpart, what may happen is the larger one might just have a slight change. Yes, there's a slight change in their allele frequency, but on the smaller island, the allele frequency might have a significant change. Okay, that might have happened. It's again, it's a random thing that might happen, by the way. So when a smaller population has separated from a larger population, this genetic drift is known as the founder effect. But in some cases, let's say the island on this island, it has a large A allele frequency of 50%, small A is also 50%. Due to a meteor strike on that particular island, what happens is, yes, quite violent in this case. Uh, I'm using a, a meteor as opposed to a volcano. What happens then is only the large A organisms survive and when they repopulate the, 
<coughs> when they repopulate the island, the allele frequency of a large A is 100% and there are no small A as well. And this is also a significant change in the allele frequency, which is random because it, was, it happened due to a drastic reduction in their population first due to a natural disaster. That is known as the bottleneck effect. But in both cases of bottleneck effect and founder effect, usually it will reduce the gene pool, which can have a negative impact on the future population of the organisms because they have less genetic variation and less phenotypic variation, and they will have a greater difficulty adapting to a changing environment. What do I mean by they are less able to adapt to a changing environment? Remember, if all the organisms are exactly the same or almost exactly the same, if something negative impacts some of the organisms, it has a tendency of impacting all of them as well. Because uh, let's say if all the plants in that area were tall, okay, due to less variation, and if there was extremely strong winds, all the plants might die because they might bend and snap. So that's why less variation is not a good thing. So I hope you understand the concept of genetic drift where allele frequency will change due to chance or random events. And the two examples of genetic drift will be the founder effect and the bottleneck effect.